you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries february 13th saturday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st mark chapter 8 verses 1 to 10 In those days when there was again a great crowd without anything to eat he called his disciples and said to them I have compassion for the crowd because they have been with me now for 3 days and have nothing to eat I send them away hungry to their homes they will faint on the way and some of them have come from a great distance his disciples replied How can one feed these people with the bread here in the desert? He asked them, How many loaves do you have? They said, Seven. Then he ordered the crowd to sit down on the ground, and he took the seven loaves, and after giving thanks, he broke them and gave them to his disciples to distribute. And they distributed them to the crowd. They had also a few small fish, and after blessing them he ordered that these two should be distributed they ate and were filled and they took the broken pieces left over seven baskets full now there were about 4000 people and he sent them away and immediately he got into the boat with his disciples and went to the district of dalmanutha the gospel of the lord praise the lord jesus christ dear friends woodrow wilson said in arthur no one can worship god or love his neighbor on an empty stomach no one can worship god or love his neighbor on an empty stomach today's gospel tells us about the feeding of jesus of about 4000 people out of seven breads and were offered to them he feeds them because they are with him for three days and they are hungry you know for the jews the use of the sacred numbers of three and seven suggest manifestation of god it is because three that recalls that event by which three three year old animals are slaughtered and offered to god with when abraham entered into a covenant with him and also sarah his wife prepared three sear of fine flour when three expected visitors deliver a message that she would give birth to isaac while seven for the jews symbolizes fullness or completeness or total it records that even by which after god created the world in six days and on the seventh day he rested it also recalls when naaman the syrian was seven times in the jordan river and was healed of his leprosy actually the miracle of the multiplication of loaves and the fish symbolizes the holy eucharist it foreshadows the giving of jesus of himself in the eucharist this is so because of the presence of four elements or the four acts of the holy eucharist that jesus does when he takes the bread namely taking the bread giving thanks break the breaks the bread and gives the bread in other words saint mark wants to relate to us is that the holy ghost represents the fullness or a completeness of the manifestation of god to his people like us in the eucharist jesus satisfies our hungry for god through his word and his body in the holy eucharist that when we receive him in the holy eucharist he becomes one with us and part of us yes my dear friends when we participate in the holy eucharistic celebration let us all ask god's pardon and mercy and to be a worthy person to receive the holy communion amen may god bless us